Hello guys. So in this video, I'm going to explain you how you can run the test case in your Ace browser, how you can launch your Ace browser and start running your test case in the Ace browser. As you know, Microsoft will not support IE browser or IE application anymore. So ultimately, we have to be run our test case in Ace browser after that. So let's see how we can run our test case in S browser. So to run our test case in S browser and to launch an S browser, first of all, we have to download S browser driver.exe file. So first of all, open a Chrome browser and just search for MS S driver, right? So first link you will be find Microsoft S web driver. Just click, go to that link and it is having different versions for you. So all these are different versions real for the release 102, 101 and the 100. So you will be confused which version you have to download, right? So the version that you have to download, it should be compatible and it should be matched with your Edge browser version. So first of all, for that you have to check your Edge browser version, which version you are using for your Edge browser. Right, so for that you have to open an OS browser, just go to help and feedback, open about Microsoft Edge. So you will be finding the latest version or the whatever version you are having. So it is 100.0.1185.50. So this version you have to download. And so it is starting from 100. So we are having 100.0. 0.1185.50. So this version we have to download for our as browser, right? So and which one? These are the different operating system it is specifying. So you want to download it for 32 bit, or you want it for 62, 64 bit, or you want to download it for Mac operating system, Linux operating system, right? Like that. So we are going to download for 64 bit Windows, right? Windows 64 bit. Okay, guys, so this is there and it has downloaded. So just go to your download folder, unzip it. So once it is extract, just take this MS as driver.exe file and paste in your project. Under resources folder, you can put in any folder. Okay, guys, so I have just uh, added a resource folder for that so it is very useful and so just add in the resource folder where i have put all my driver.exe files so it is having chrome and gis in the same way i am adding for mss driver x well. now the first step is so this is having a mss driver in your resources folder now we have to set the property for it so how you can set the property system dot set property right and it is taking a key as web driver web driver dot adds dot driver right and in the second attribute in the second parameter you have to pass the path of it okay guys so just go to there absolute path so you have specified this ms as driver.exe file okay guys so now what you have to do you have to create a object of ms as driver class so we will be storing in a interface that is web driver interface so like that so web driver is an interface and this is a reference of a web driver interface and we are storing the object of s driver so this is an s driver so we are creating the object of our s driver class okay guys so our next step is driver dot get url and we are launching a one url that is this okay guys and we are doing the max, we will do the maximize also driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. So we will be maximizing the window. We are loading this URL 
and one more step we will be doing we will be printing system dot out dot print and we will print the title of our home web page so how you can get the title just driver dot get title so get title is the method to get the title okay guys and in the last what we will be doing we will be creating our driver so it will be closing the as browser for you so this is the code let's try and one more thing i want to explain in the as browser while working with as browser there can be a website that requires the certificates right and that can be required some desired capabilities for that so i will tell you also how you can add some desired capabilities or some edge options while working with the edge browser first let's try to run this so it should open an edge browser for you so ms edge driver was started successfully it has maximized the window now it is opening the url that we have given as a practice automation so guys this is a url this is a dummy website you can also start practice on it for the selenium so it is loading this url and as we have used a get method so get method will wait until the complete web page get load guys so always we have to use as a driver to get so automatically it will wait for the complete page to get load you don't need to add any dynamic wait here so guys it has took the title and it has quit the our edge browser so our title was my store my store was the title of the web page and after that it has quit it right so it is running very successfully in the edge driver so one more thing guys i wanted to explain you that you can also use edge options guys like edge options are there suppose there are some settings and that you have to include while working with the edge browser so in that case you can use desired capabilities as well as this edge options okay guys so you have to write like that new edge options edge options dot so now you can see there are multiple things that you can do you can add an argument so in the arguments you can add some uh, like in the ie or uh, mss browser you will find some settings related to protected security so that kind of arguments you can add here for some resolution that you can add here right and uh, you can get the browser name you can get the browser version right which one you want to use suppose there are multiple versions are available for as and you want to run in specific version so like that also you can pass and it will run in that particular browser version for you right guys so you can get the platform name so you can add multiple edge options and you can set the desired capabilities as well here so it will be applicable right guys so one settings i wanted to know and i want to tell you that if there is some security uh, like certificates are there I suppose uh, there are many websites while working on the project that needs a set some type of certificates so that also you can set here because it needs a client and server trust for that so you can add it as and you can set it as a true and you will be successfully able to load that website otherwise you will get some type of ssl ssl error so to avoid those type of ssl require ssl error so you have to set like as options and you can set is set accept in secure certificate as a true right guys and this edge options you can pass in your as driver okay guys like that so let's try to run it is loading the websites after loading the website we have done to get the title and it will close this ms 
as browser. So first it will try to complete load. Yeah, it's done. And it put the title as my store and it is closed by its browser. So by that way, guys, you can always work and always run your test case in your edge browser. And always you can add any like edge settings if you want to add. You can add edge options or uh, you can add some desired capabilities that you can launch your edge browser with your desired capabilities based on the requirement. But this is the simple way that you can start working with this as like your Chrome browser or IE browser. There is no much difference. You have to download the driver file for it and you have to start coding in the same way okay guys so thank you guys please like share and subscribe to the channel thanks to everyone for your support thank you everyone bye